tent of fellow drinking peace? I want to tell you something, because I know all about this stuff. It's my specialty. This here is the best. The best. That other ale ain't no good since so stupid dogs. Thank goodness you've returned. Much has changed since you lived here, my friend. All was peaceful until the Dark Riders came and destroyed our village. Many were cut down where they stood, and those who took up arms were slain or, or dragged away to become slaves, or worse. The church at the edge of town has been desecrated and is being used for dark rituals. The screams that echo in the night are inhuman, but some of our townsfolk may yet survive. Follow the path that lies between my tavern and the blacksmith's shop to find the church and save who you can. Perhaps I can tell you more if we speak again. Good luck. Please, listen to me. The Archbishop Lazarus, he led us down here to find the Lost Prince. Bastard led us into a trap. Now everyone is dead, killed by a demon he called the Butcher. Avenge us! Find this Butcher and slay him, so that our souls may finally rest. Your death will be avenged. Good day! How may I serve you? Our blacksmith is a point of pride to the people of Tristram. Not only is he a master craftsman who has won many contests within his guild, but he received praises from our King Leoric himself. May his soul rest in peace. Griswold is also a great hero. Just ask Cain. When Farnham said something about a butcher killing people, I immediately discounted it. But since you brought it up, maybe it is true. What ails you, my friend? Ogden's barmaid is a sweet girl. Her grandmother is quite ill and suffers from delusions. She claims that they are visions, but I have no proof of that one way or the other. By the light, I know of this vile demon. There were many that bore the scars of his wrath upon their bodies when the few survivors of the charge led by Lazarus crawled from the cathedral. I don't know what he used to slice open his victims, but it could not have been of this world. It left wounds festering with disease, and even I found them almost impossible to treat. Beware if you plan to battle this fiend. Well, what can I do for you? If you're looking for a good weapon, let me show this to you. Take your basic blunt weapon, such as a mace. Works like a charm against most of those undying horrors down there. And there's nothing better to shatter skinny little skeletons! I saw what Farnham calls the Butcher, as it swathed a path through the bodies of my friends. Ah, oh, he swung a cleaver as large as an axe, hewing limbs and cutting down brave men where they stood. I was separated from the fray by a host of small screeching demons, and somehow found the stairway leading out. I never saw that hideous beast again, but his blood-stained visage haunts me to this day.
Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. It seems that the Archbishop Lazarus goaded many of the townsmen into venturing into the labyrinth to find the king's missing son. He played upon their fears and whipped them into a frenzied mob. None of them were prepared for what lay within the cold earth. Lazarus abandoned them down there, left in the clutches of unspeakable horrors to die. Poor Farnham. He is a disquieting reminder of the doomed assembly that entered into the cathedral with Lazarus on that dark day. He escaped with his life, but his courage and much of his sanity were left in some dark pit. He finds comfort only at the bottom of his tankard nowadays, but there are occasional bits of truth buried within his constant ramblings. And a fellow drinking peace? Big, big cleaver, killing all my friends. Couldn't stab him, had to run away. Couldn't save them. Trapped in a room with so many bodies. So many friends. Oh. I want to tell you something, because I know all about this stuff. It's my specialty. This here is the best. The best. That other ale ain't no good since so stupid dogs. I sense a soul in search of answers. To a man who only knows iron, there is no greater magic than steel. The blacksmith Griswold is more of a sorcerer than he knows. His ability to meld fire and metal is unequaled in this land. The butcher is a sadistic creature that delights in the torture and pain of others. You have seen his handiwork in the drunkard Farnham. His destruction will do much to ensure the safety of this village. Over here. In case you haven't noticed, I don't buy anything from Tristram. I am an importer of quality goods. If you want to peddle your junk, you'll have to see Griswold, Pepin, or that witch Adria. I'm sure they'll snap up whatever you can bring. I know more than you think about that grizzly fiend. His little friends got a hold of me and managed to get my leg before Griswold pulled me out of that hole. I'll put it bluntly. Kill him before he kills you and adds your corpse to his collection.
Your death will be avenged. Your death will be avenged. The sanctity of this place has been fouled. I can't carry anymore.
I can't carry any more. Oh, what can I do for you? What can I do for you? I'm glad I caught up to you in time. Our wells have become brackish and stagnant, and some of the townspeople have become ill drinking from them. Our reserves of fresh water are quickly running dry. I believe that there is a passage that leads to the springs that serve our town. Please find what has caused this calamity, or we all will surely perish. What ails you, my friend? Please, you must hurry. Every hour that passes brings us closer to having no water to drink. We cannot survive for long without your help. Thank <laughs> you. 
What can I do for you? Pippin has told ye the truth. We will need fresh water badly, and soon. Ah, I've tried to clear one of the smaller wells, but it reeks of stagnant filth. It must be getting clogged at the source. Greetings, good master. Welcome to the Tavern of the Rising Sun. I have always tried to keep a large supply of foodstuffs and drink in our storage cellar. But with the entire town having no source of fresh water, even our stores will soon run dry. Please, do what you can or I don't know what we will do. Yeah. <laughs> 
ね。<笑>
I can't carry anymore. Too much baggage.
I gotta pawn some of this stuff. What can I do for you? Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. What can I do for you?
Well, what can I do for you? What's that you say? The mere presence of the demons has caused the water to become tainted? Oh, truly a great evil lurks beneath our town. But your perseverance and courage gives us hope. Please, take this ring. Perhaps it will aid you in the destruction of such vile creatures. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. What ails you, my friend? do for you. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen.
What ails you, my friend? 